What is going on guys? Welcome to your 14 C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about a new class. Yes, a new type of data and you're saying OMG buddy enough of the classes and types of data. I just want to learn something. Trust me guys. If you guys have suffered through my last two tutorials and learn everything about character arrays and get line oh my god I had enough with arrays if there's just a simple way to take a string and set it equal to a variable without any crap about arrays or anything like that that would be amazing well guys I have saved the best for last. If you made it this far, then you are in for a treat. You think that I would teach the most simple stuff first, but this is pretty much your prize for learning all the hard stuff first. You want to see how easy this is? Check it out. Go ahead and type in the data type of string. Then go ahead and create a variable called x. Now, without creating any arrays or anything like that, all we have to do is take this and set it equal to any string we can imagine. It can either be one letter, it can either be a word, an entire sentence, an entire paragraph. Bucky is Pondersona. Whatever the heck that means, it doesn't matter what it means because it's valid. And let's go ahead and let me prove this. Oops, not that. What the heck is Z? Let's go ahead and print this out and check it out. Bucky is Pondersona. Maybe it's Ponderosa, maybe it's personality, who knows? It doesn't matter because it makes sense as code. So check this out. There are no arrays. There are none of this crap right here with commas and B and commas and U. No, none of that crap. String class is pretty much the character class cleaned up by a thousand percent and that is why I'm super excited about introducing this class it makes everything incredibly easy it's the one way that we can take an entire string and set it equal to a variable and I know what you guys are saying but Bucky you told us how to like add character classes together and how we could extract things and find the length of the character class and stuff like that and we don't have all those tools accessible to the string class because it's kinda like the character class bare bones well guys you are wrong check this out let's go ahead and make string one and set it equal to bacon and let's go ahead and make string two and set it equal to I don't know sandwiches and so we got bacon sandwiches and then let's go ahead and get string three by the way one two and three they're just variable names you can name it x y and z if you want you can name it whatever you want and then go ahead and take string three and do one plus two well check this out oops that's a regular colon not a semicolon check this out not only do we have access to other tools that we had access to in the character class but we also have access to some pretty neat tools on our own for example whenever we want to create a new string using two previous existing strings what we need to do is just go ahead and name our new variable then put one plus two and it adds bacon plus sandwiches so the easiest way is just pretty much just output this on the screen so let's just go ahead and print this baby out right now and see what we get bacon sandwiches so this is actually the string three which is actually a combination of one and two so that's a neat little trick we have with this uh, string class and check this out aside from that um yeah let's just go ahead and end line we also have access to uh, that string length but in the string class it's called something a little bit different it's a new function and it's called size so see out three size with empty parameters so check this out right here instead of string length if you want to get the length of a string in this class you just call that function and automatically gets the length of the string so check this out how much easier is this just a class a variable name and then a string how easier is that than this car um, Bucky 20 equals parentheses B oh my god all that crap forget about that we are done with that we're moving on to bigger and better things 
So check this out. It's pretty much a character class, like I said, cleaned up times a thousand percent. So we're going to be building a couple programs in the future using this string, and trust me, it's a whole lot better than using character. So I just wanted to uh, introduce this to you guys as pretty much your prize of suffering through my last two tutorials. So anyways, there it is learn it get used to it because you're going to be seeing a lot of it so i don't know what i'm going to be teaching in the next couple tutorials but it's probably going to be awesome so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later